All right, guys, this is kind of a spur of the moment video. Uh, I was just in a discussion in a Telegram group and uh, someone was having issues, the same issues that I just experienced with my phone because anybody that's been using Trust Wallet to access their D apps, PancakeSwap, Uniswap, all that kind of stuff, um, they need another way to do this because Wallet Connect just sucks. I'm just going to be honest with you. So what I did and what I've been recommending to a lot of people, and that's why I'm making this video, is if you don't already have a MetaMask, just go ahead and download MetaMask. If you use the 12-word passphrase from your original trust wallet that you used, like if you, if you lose your wallet and you have to have that seed phrase to open your wallet back up, when you set up the new MetaMask wallet, just enter in that 12-word seed phrase. Um, don't let anybody else have your seed phrase ever. Never, never, never. But enter your 12-word seed phrase from your trust, trust wallet into the MetaMask when you're setting it up. And it'll ask you to set up a password or to create a password. And that's so that you can access the app. That's not for your wallet per se. Um, once you get your wallet set up with your 12-word seed phrase... If you have anything on the Ethereum side that's already in your Trust Wallet, it'll show up in the MetaMask. Now, if you don't have anything in the Ethereum side, it's going to look like there's nothing in your wallet because it's going to automatically connect to the Ethereum network. You're going to have to add the BSC network to the settings in the app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the settings in your app to, to add the BSC network so that you can find all of your tokens in your um, in your new MetaMask wallet. And this saves you from having to transfer any of your tokens from your trust wallet to a new wallet. You're, at, you're actually just using your exact same wallet. You're just moving it from one to another. Uh, no transfer fees or anything. So I hope that everybody finds this extremely useful. I did, and it uh, saved me a lot of headache. Uh, if you're fed up with it like I am, just move to MetaMask and you don't really have to pay anything. You can set it up exactly like you need to and everything's already there. So I'm going to cover that and uh, hope you like it. Okay, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm going to set up the MetaMask. But I'm on the MetaMask IO website and all I'm going to do is I'm going to download this wallet and create a new one right here for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So now, you're going to have to use either Brave, iOS, or Android. Okay, so I clicked on the, I was on the download MetaMask, and I was on the Brave, and I just clicked install MetaMask for Brave, and, it, and it's actually a Chrome extension. So you can have the browser app on your regular Chrome. So now it's opened up this new, uh, MetaMask extension. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you already have an existing recovery phrase, this is where you're going to put your 12 word seed phrase in. So you're going to hit this, or it's going to ask you if they, if you want to help them improve. Um, I'm not going to agree to that right now. Okay. So now here, all you do is import your account with a secret recovery phrase. So, and then you create a new password and confirm your password. And once you've done that and you connect your wallet, which I'll tell you what, I'll go back and set up another wallet, but it'll, it'll take me to the same place. And then I'll show you how to set up the BSC network on that new wallet. I just, I don't want y'all to see that if, if I do get a 12 word recovery phrase, I don't want to let y'all see what it is uh, in case I do decide to do anything with this wallet in the future. All right, guys. So if you're setting up a new trust wallet and you don't have a secret uh, backup phrase that you're using or anything like that, after you create your password, this is where it'll take you and it will get it to where you can click on that area right there to reveal the 12 word passphrase. I have not clicked it yet. I don't know what it is, but, um, yeah. All right, guys. So now my wallet is set up and as you can see, it comes up with the Ethereum. Um, and if you 
had logged into your original account, it would show your Ethereum balance if you had any. Now, you can go right here, and these are the networks that are available right now. What we need to do is do a custom RPC. So then, now what we're going to do is we're going to add in BSC's information, and I will show you what to do on that in just a second. All right, guys, this is what you need to put in each one of the information fields on the MetaMask um, settings when you're trying to add the BSC network. So we're adding a custom RPC and you need to put in BSC mainnet, uh, bscdataseed.binance.org, and the chain ID, if 56 does not work, then what you would need to do is get rid of that and put in O X 30. It can be either 56 or O X 38. So one or the other will work. Okay. Now that I've saved that, uh, data, it actually changed O X 38 to chain to 56. So now I have BSC mainnet as a choice. All right, and now if you look up here at the top, I am on BSC mainnet. So now I'm showing my BNB account and it'll show all of my uh, BEP20 tokens when I get into like pad swap, um, pancake swap, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and you can add tokens. That's where you're going to have to add your custom token IDs. Um, I'm not going to get into that in this video, but you'll have to add all of your custom token IDs to uh, show that you sh to show your balances in the, in your wallet. But I'm going to end it here. But once you do that, you're ready to rock and roll. All your assets are carried over to the MetaMask wallet, and you don't need to use Trust Wallet anymore at all. Uh, MetaMask still has the browser that you can use. Yeah, this isn't going to be any benefit to anybody on Android because it already has a, uh, or Trust Wallet still has their browser on Android. But um, on iOS, Trust Wallet does, no longer supports their DApps browser. So this is really going to be beneficial to people that have Trust Wallet and didn't know what to do. Now you know what to do. Really, really, really hope this helps a lot of people. Enjoy. All right, guys, if this helped you out, and uh, I would really appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, let more people see this video so that we can uh, help the community as, as a collective. Uh, I greatly appreciate all of you watching my videos, and I hope to see you for the next one. Have an amazing day.